Those who lie down with dogs get up with fleas. This well known idiom generally means that one who associates with people behaving badly will be led astray. But is that always the case? In Shin v. Allen, the Texas Court of Appeals explained the legal elements needed to hold someone liable for the tortious acts of another. Jeremy Faggard picked up Russell Allen from his parents' house so the two could hang out. After a few hours, Faggard drove to a store and bought some beer. Though Allen went with Faggard, it wasn't Allen's idea to buy the beer, and he didn't pay for it. The two then went to Faggard's house and each drank several beers. Needing to meet his parents in time for dinner, Allen asked Faggard to drive him home. On the way, Faggard crashed into Robert and Gail Shin's car. Robert died, and Gail sustained severe injuries. Faggard was arrested and eventually convicted for driving while intoxicated. Gail Shin then sued Allen for negligence, claiming that Allen was liable for Faggard's conduct under the concert of action theory. During depositions, Allen stated that he hadn't planned to drink that day and didn't know Faggard was drunk or speeding on the ride home. Allen then made a motion for summary judgment, which the court granted. Shin appealed to the Texas Court of Appeals.